So this is my lab notebook. And it can be a really helpful tool uh, for you to remember uh, past experiments that you've done and to remember past techniques and, and protocols. And it also serves as a, a, remind, uh, a, uh, a document, an official document of what you've achieved during, during your, your time in a lab. So the most important, what I would argue is the most important thing of a lab notebook is your table of contents. It takes a little bit of extra time to do, but it's really helpful when you're trying to look back to a past experiment or technique and you need to find it quickly. Um, and it also helps you keep very organized. The next important thing is, um, so here's a page of my lab notebook and you can see it's, it's numbered and it has sections up here for both the project and the title of whatever I'm, I'm documenting here on this page. So the project is really important because that will allow you to differentiate between um, different projects that you might be working on. So sometimes you might be using the same ex uh, assay for a different project and it helps sort of differentiate. It's also really important to have a detailed title. That will help you remember sort of what you did at a glance. So I like to take, talk a little bit about what, I've, what technique I'm doing in, in that section, as well as you know, sort of basically you know, what sort of cell type I'm looking for, uh, with and so forth. It's also really important just to write a quick sentence about why you're doing this experiment, what, what your, your objective is. That helps sort of keep your, your eye on the prize and helps you um, sort of remember why you're doing it. It's also really helpful to actually have printouts from equipment that you've used and your actual data that can help, you know, legitimize what you're doing and can also help you, um, uh, also help when you're looking back and trying to double check things and so forth. Um, it's also really helpful to have images of what you're doing uh, or what you've done, especially if you're doing cell work. It can be really helpful if your cells change morphology or, or structure over time. It can be really helpful to be able to look back on that. For instance, on one day, these cells were really monolayer. Um, they were growing in a monolayer, and they had a very like spindle-shaped morphology. And seven days later, they formed this giant um, structure, this, almost, this like blob shape. So that was really helpful for me to look back and say, oh yeah, these cells are, you know, they, they definitely changed over time. Lastly, it's really, really important to, to outline your protocol. So I like to write down every little step, even something that doesn't seem um, relevant at the time, because later on you may actually want to, to look back and say, you know, what, you know which, which media did I use there, and how long did I incubate that for? And, in that, and, and if you take really good notes, you'll be able to actually look back and get that information. It's also really important to note down which materials you use, because Oftentimes, you know, there are hundreds of different medias you can pick and, and, and choose from and, and um, hundreds of different uh, antibodies and so forth. So it's really helpful to have the name of whatever you're using as well as um, catalog numbers and lot numbers. That can save you a lot of time later on as well. So another really important part, uh, another reason why it's really important to take really good detailed notes in addition to helping you out as a researcher, enabling you to look back on, on what you've done and and uh, remember everything, is also your supervisor may also want to take a look at your notebook. And it serves as uh, almost a diary or a um, log for them to actually be able to look back and understand what you're doing and why. So it can serve as an as a, as official record of, of what you've done.